Hello children of the underworld! Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I don't think I've ever made a video like this where I've recorded a voiceover while watching my footage before, but this is just what I do with my hair and my makeup every single day. It's more of a heavy look than I used to wear, but it kind of it's kind of going with my, my updated style, so if you like it, that's great. If you don't, that's also great. I don't care. So this is my bare face. Um, I hope you very much enjoy it. Um, let's, get, let's get going. Uh, so the first thing I do after coming out of the shower and getting dressed is I use my Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Hair Primer. This thing is like 21 pounds, I think, um, which is pretty pricey, but it's honestly such a good hair primer. It, it's, uh, it's like a heat protector and it just softens my hair wonderfully before drying it. So yeah, I use it all the time. And then I go in with the Red Ken Extreme Anti-Snap, which is this weird like serum. I'm not gonna explain to you what it looks like, <laughs> um, but I just run this through the ends uh, because my hair is bleached at the bottom. So trying to protect it um, whilst I grow it out. I am trying to grow out all of the bleach damage, but for now I'm trying to prevent as many split ends as I can. So that's pretty much all I do with my hair. I let that soak in for a bit and then afterwards um, I will dry it. But for now, I'm gonna do my makeup. So the first thing I do is go in with just um, a Burt's Bees, what do they call it? I don't wanna say chapstick. It's a beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. How very bougie. Um, I've, I've honestly just found that Burt's Bees is by far the best one for me personally, but you can use whatever. Some people like cocoa butter, not for me. So now I'm going in with a Ren moisturizer. This is one of the more expensive things I have in my makeup routine. It's the Ren Clean Skin Care Vita Mineral Daily Supplement Moisturizing Cream. Honestly though, being real about it, any moisturizer will do. You're just prepping your skin. I just really like this one. It makes me feel a little bit special. So so I am um, I, I just I just use that. But you could use Nivea, you could use any basic moisturizer that just sinks into your skin. Oh yeah, make sure you get your neck too, because like, you know, your neck will thank you in like 40 years when you look like a chicken with giblets, you know? Anyway, so next I'm going in with a primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is another kind of more high-end primer. Um, again, not gonna describe what it looks like, or hey. Um, this, I think it's like 50 pounds for this bottle, which is a bit absurd, but honestly, it's the best primer I've ever used in my life. I don't use the Benefit one anymore, uh, the Pore Professional, because it just clogs your skin right up. But this one is water-based, so it's a lot thinner. Um, you might think it's not really doing much, but once it's all soaked into your skin, it does a wonderful, wonderful job. Um, it's a really, really good poly filler for the pores, you know, uh, works really, really well. So, and a, a little bit goes a really, really long way. Um, it takes me months and months and months to get through one bottle. So it is worth it if you feel like splashing out. But again, you could probably replace it with any primer that you personally enjoy. Um, I put this all over my face, including my eyelids. I don't use like an eyeshadow primer, I just use this. Um, it's just great for everything. I set my entire face with it. It's, it's wonderful. Why are we taking a beauty blender? Well, oh, that's why we're doing it. So this is the third bougie product in a row. Uh, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Uh, this costs 40 pounds, but it's another one of those products that goes a really, really long way. Not all of the products I use are really high end, I promise. Um, but these three, when it comes to creating the perfect face base, you know, it is worth spending a little bit more money if you can. And this is honestly the best foundation I've ever used in my life. I, there's, there's plenty of foundations that I enjoy, like like Rimmel, for instance. Um, the, the, the one that I got from the body shop recently is also very good, but this one is just wonderful. It is light. It's, I would say like medium to sheer coverage. I don't really know. Like I'm not fucking, I'm not Jeffree Star, okay? Um, but it is honestly just wonderful. It, it, it doesn't feel like my skin is clogged up by the end of the day, you know? I don't get like breakouts or anything like that because this product is just really, really good. And it actually matches my skin tone. Me trying to match my skin tone is a hell of a fucking joke, let me tell you. I have to usually match like two foundations and mix them together. Um, but this one, I've used it for about a year and a half, two years now. Not this specific bottle, but you know what I'm saying. And I just don't really want to change it up. It's it's wonderful. So if you can splash out, uh, Christmas is coming up. So just you know, just just drop a few hints here and there. Um, it's it's really really great. Oh my god, this is fucking taking me forever. Jesus fucking Christ, you don't have to be that 
<laughs> so I don't really usually use concealer if I'm honest, um, I don't really feel like I need it but for the sake of this video I'm going to show you what I do use when I do use concealer uh, which is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Is it NYX or NYX? Someone let me know in the comments because I don't know, I just say NYX, I don't know if I'm wrong. But um, I don't use a lot. You know how beauty gurus like put a lake under their eyes? I just think that's such a waste. Um, you don't need to do that. You're just like, concealer is so thick, you don't need it. Um, so yeah, I look like a bit of a twat right now, but I have this one spot on my lip that's been there for maybe like three or four months. It's tiny, it's like a pinprick. Um, no, it's not the herb, but it's just, it won't go away. So I put a little bit on my lip and just a little bit under my eyes, but I don't really need it all that much. This one, um, it has, a yellow base as you can see in this video um, which counteracts my dark circles which I got uh, from my dad's side of the family I've always had eye bags um, there's nothing I can do about them so next up oh Jesus fucking Christ so uh, this is the this is me doing my eyebrows right so this is the three-in-one brow definer by the body shop now I'm using this right look at my face I fucking hate this product so much I can't begin to tell you how shit it is it's so ridiculously soft um, you have to sharpen it all the time even at like room temperature which is pretty freaking cold this time of year it just bloody breaks off all the time you can see I'm being so delicate like um, I prefer using like um, you know the mechanical pencils with pomade in them uh, I usually use the Kat Von D one uh, or I use the NYX one both of those are really really good but I was kind of tricked into buying this stupid body shop pencil I was in the body shop looking for skincare products because I love the body shop right but the makeup artist was like oh would you like me to come and do your makeup and I was like fuck yes I would love some free makeup uh, being done to my face and she made it look really good as they do um, but uh, it's it was a con it's just a shit product I'm sorry body shop it's gonna cost me a spot and I know it but um, I love everything else by them the foundation their body butters their facial oil that I use every single night but this is just the biggest flop um, it took me literally the next like 10 minutes of footage just trying to make the eyebrows look half decent and it still didn't work so I would say if you're gonna get an eyebrow pencil get the Kat Von D one um, regardless of what you think of her and her questionable um, ethics but um, either that or or the NYX one uh, or there's one by Max Factor that's that's okay as well get like the mechanical pencil that feels really really stiff um, they are the best things okay so it looks like I'm finally kind of happy no never mind I'm not happy at all <laughs> Jeez, uh, what am I gonna do next? Okay, so we're gonna move on to contouring. So I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I have done for years and years. Um, just gonna give myself some cheeky sideburns. I use a Sephora foundation powder brush. I don't know, it was just one I picked up in America. Uh, I go in with the medium shade, which is called Shadow Play. And uh, you will see that I just sort of, I'm not good at contour by the way, like um, do as I say, not as I do because I'm really not good. But you can see I just sort of go around the edges, give myself some little sideburns, go around in little circles, go underneath my chin, because fuck, man, I do not have a jaw at all. Um, I have to sort of draw one in, because like, I just don't have a neck. Um, so, so I'm just gonna do that for a while, and then I will blend it out with another brush. So now I'm taking this weird face brush by, I think this is by Makeup Forever. I've had this for absolutely ages but I got it in America in Sephora, I think. Um, and it's just, it's so dense. Um, and it works really, really well to blend things out. Like, I'm not good at blending. As you can see, there's me celebrating the fact that I now have a chin. Um, but it works really, really well to blend things out. I'm not very good at blending, but if, if an actual decent makeup artist was using it, they'd probably enjoy it very much. So as you can see, I'm currently giving myself some 70s sideburns because I just don't have cheekbones, man. I just don't. I wasn't blessed with them, wasn't born with them. So I have to sort of just like pretend that they exist. You know, I'm all about tricking you guys. So once both sides are completely contoured and blended out, I'm going in with a highlighter by Topshop, believe it or not, um, in the shade Crescent Moon. And I'm using another, it's called the Airbrush Powder Brush by Sephora. Um, I honestly love the Topshop highlighters so, so much. I feel like they don't get enough credit. Um, I've had this one for so long. I've definitely hit pan on this one by now, but it is just 
bloody fantastic for me. I really, really like the formula of it. Um, so as you can see, it's already showing up. I am popping, excuse me, I love it. Um, I don't wanna, you know, glow like the gods or anything like that. I just want a little bit, just a little bit of emphasis on the non-existent cheekbone. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just a little bit on the tip of the nose, tip of the chin, anywhere where, if, if a light was directly above you, anywhere that is illuminated, so, um, the, the forehead, the tip of the nose, the chin, all of that would be illuminated by a spotlight above you. So use it on that. So this is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. I spent ages trying to find a suitable blusher to replace my old Topshop one that I bought maybe like six years ago. I kind of had to throw that in the bin. <laughs> I, was, I was determined to like hit pan on it and I just never did. But this one is honestly just wonderful. It might be my favorite blush I've ever used. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely color. Um, and I put that between the highlight and the contour. So it sort of serves as like a Neapolitan ice cream on my face, you know, it's like brown, pink, and white. Um, and just, I just blend it in with that, that really thick Makeup Forever uh, brush. And there you go. See, look, look how banging I look now. Like the difference between this and 10, like 10 minutes ago, it's mental. Anyway, what the fuck am I doing now? Oh, I'm going back in with contour, what am I doing? Oh, sometimes I do this. Uh, sometimes I like to contour my forehead. Um, it depends, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Um, this didn't look particularly good. So I would say do it with caution, but basically if you contour the sides of your forehead, it's supposed to make your forehead look thinner. It's supposed to give the illusion that your face is thinner because it's like the illusion that it's in shadow. Uh, it doesn't work for me because I've got a fat head anyway, but I, uh, I don't know. I, I do it and I just blend it in with the hairline like that. Look at me, I clearly look very fucking happy with myself. So that's what it's all about, man. You know, if makeup makes you feel good, just do it. Like, there's always people complaining, saying, I prefer my women with a natural look. Yeah, I prefer you with a fucking quiet look, okay? Just let people do what they fucking want. Let people be happy. If people feel confident putting on makeup, that's their choice. They don't do it for your dick. Enough ranting. Um, I apologize profusely, all right? <laughs> So, oh fuck, now we gotta go into the eyes. Um, let me just use a disclaimer here. I'm not good at all at eyeshadow. It's just, it's never ever been one of my skills. I can basically do a little bit of contouring. I can do my eyebrows fine. But when it comes to eyeshadow, I am shit. So don't follow this as a strict tutorial. Just kind of, just watch and pity me. So at the minute I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics in the shade Blow, Whoa, hey. Um, just above, uh, just below the eyebrow because I know a lot of people use highlighter um, below the eyebrow. I personally don't. I prefer a matte look on my eyes. I don't like anything shiny, shiny. And that's why I love this palette so much because all of the colors are matte. So I've just put that underneath to give it a little bit of a shine. And now I'm going in with the shade Tempted. And I'm just gonna cover my lids um, just as a base kind of. And then I'm basically gonna be covering this entire shade anyway. So I don't really know why I do this part, but look, I'm stuck in my ways. And this is just how I prefer to do it. So it's like this weird muted browny purpley shade. Um, I really, really don't know why I do it to be honest with you, but oh well. It's on there now, isn't it? So now that it's covered both of my lids, I'm gonna go in with my bougie as fuck MAC 224 brush. I don't know, I copied some fucking guru, I don't know. Um, and I'm just gonna basically use that to blend out uh, the shade Tempted into my eye socket. Um, I look very attractive right now. Thank you for doing that, past Emma. Um, it's just so that it blends slightly better in uh, to the to the other color, but it didn't work very well, did it? So now I'm going in with the shade Magnet, which is that weird bluey gray color. It really doesn't go with the shade Tempted, the, the brown one, but I put it on anyway, because I do prefer a heavier look right now. Um, I don't know why, so don't ask. Don't tell me you prefer me with no makeup. I don't give a shit. Um, I just go in with this, gray color and basically just go over tempted so again not really sure why my apologies but basically i end up with a mostly gray um eye base and then i'm gonna go in and use a darker shade on the outer corners which you shall see in a minute it doesn't look too bad i mean like it could be a lot worse like i'm not sitting here trying to pretend i'm james charles for fuck's sake like you know anyway so now i'm gonna go in with the shade blackjack 
Uh, wait, guess what color that is? Uh, I'm just gonna use this on the outer corner and then slightly in the crease. This is absolutely not the brush to be using for this. Can I just add, you really should be using a smaller brush. Um, but this is the UBU tapered shadow brush. I don't know, I've used this UBU uh, shaped brush for so long. Um, this, this actual brush is so old. But as you can see, I'm just, just blending it out. You know, not doing a very good job at it either, to be honest, but it's fine. To be honest, my eyes are mostly going to be made up of eyeliner and uh, a thick um, eye pencil underneath anyway. So this really isn't the main attraction of the face, to be honest with you. Oh my god, you know, on camera that looks so patchy. The fuck? Oh my god, I bet I was so proud of that and all. Oh my word, don't stretch your skin. What the hell are you doing? Oh well, whatever. Like I said, not a genius eyeshadow. Never have been. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking blind myself. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? This is like the cringiest thing to watch back, can I just say? Um, but I mean, you can kind of see what I'm going for, right? Basically just, just a gray and black base to put underneath my eyeliner. I'm not here to serve looks, all right? I never have been. I've always been predominantly maybe a four out of 10 on a good day. All right, I'm just, I'm just rocking with it. I don't care. So now I'm just using that um, MAC 224 brush and just blending out as much of the black as I can. Um, again, I look like I've just sort of been punched in the eyes. And now I'm going back in with the shade Blow, Wahey, um, just to reaffirm that light shade underneath my eyebrow because I went a bit nuts with the blending, I think. I say blending. Imagine that I'm using like inverted commas as I, as I say, blending, because that's exactly what this is. Now I'm just catching any of the fallout with the Makeup Forever brush. And that's really all I do for eyeshadow, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't do too much. So now I'm going in with the MAC 239 brush. This is like a stiffer eye thing. I don't know, you should really, this is what I should have been applying the black eyeshadow with. I'm going in now with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Black Bean. And I'm just gonna draw on the brush itself uh, and then use the brush underneath my eyes. I don't really wanna draw on my eyes with the pencil, not only because of hygiene reasons, but also because I know that it would just make me look like Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. And whilst he does serve quite a look, it's not really what I'm going for. So as you can see, I am um, just just doing an awful, awful job of, of putting some pigment underneath my eyes. And then once I've done a little bit of that, I'm just gonna take the pencil itself and just go into the waterline, uh, just because otherwise it would look a bit weird. So that's really all I do underneath the eyes. Now you've noticed that I have um, blended upwards in this weird sort of flicky motion. That will come in handy a bit later on. Uh, foreshadowing, for eyeshadowing. <laughs> I hate myself. And that's really it for the eyeshadow and eye brush. I think it looks all right. Not too bad. Now we're going in with the Barry M Eye Define Liquid Eyeliner. Let me tell you, as anyone else who is 26 years old will tell you, I have used this since I was maybe 12 years old. This is the first ever liquid eyeliner I ever used. Barry M used to be so, so huge in the UK. They used to have uh, these pots of uh, eyeshadow glitter called Dazzle Dust, if anyone remembers them. Like, they did them in like hundreds of shades. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm sorry. So basically, I, I just really, really like this eye pen. I think it's great. Um, I think it gives full control. Uh, as you can see, though, I, I am not the best to be showing you how to do eyeliner, never have been. I very much uh, go into Amy Winehouse territory and it just sort of goes up and up and up and up and the wing gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it just, it's a bit of a catastrophe. Especially in this video, it's not my best. <laughs> it really isn't um, a great example of, of winged eyeliner, if I'm honest. But sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong. And that's what people don't freaking show on YouTube. Like, everything's so bloody perfect. I'm so bored of it. I'm just fucking over it, to be honest with you. So like, I didn't do too much of a bad job. I think it looks all right. Um, so I'm just gonna move on to the other eye and hopefully, <laughs> I don't know if they were symmetrical after I was finished filming this, but um, the, the idea is that you want it to be symmetrical, but whether or not it's gonna turn out that way, it's honestly just luck of the draw. Get it, luck of the draw, because you're drawing, drawing it on. I hate myself. Here we go, is it gonna work? Oh, 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 good join. Oh, I was worried about that for a second. Now come on, fix it, 
Fix it. Fix it. Oh, good save. Good save. Come on, join it. Yes, quite. Oh, no, I'm not sure about that shape, mate. Mm, not great. Basically, there's 10 minutes of me not being in shot as I lean really close to the mirror to try and even them up. Oh my God, what did I do? That doesn't look too great. Look, I look, I've always been someone who looks better from a bit far away, if I'm honest with you. You know, it's a lot of face tuning in my life, to be real. Um, but overall, the fact that I was running late and trying to film a video at the same time, I didn't do that bad. Let me off, please let me off of this one. But that's basically the, uh, the eye look that I go for these days. Just like dark shadow with um, eyeliner on the top and the bottom. So now I'm, oh, oh God, I'm using one of those medieval torture devices. Um, I bloody hate eyelash curlers, but here you can see me just trying to curl what little eyelash I have. So I'm going in with the Benefit Roller Lash um, Mascara. I really like this product. I think it's really, really good. It's not clumpy. Um, it's not too heavy. It's not over the top. I could get really, really thick lashes, really thick and clumpy if I wanted, but I'm not into that look. Um, so I, I use this product. I got this a few months ago and I, I really, really like it, so. I'm applying this at the bottom as well, which I know that, you know, magazines will tell you not to do, but fuck them. And then just do the same with the other eye. Just clamp what few eyelashes I have and, uh, and hope for the best. So now that the mascara is on the top and bottom for both eyes, I think that's near the end of the look. I think there's only one thing left and that should be the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. There it is, there's my boy. All right, so basically, look, I was not blessed with big lips. Don't make a fucking joke, I know what you're gonna do. Um, my lips are so small, they're so tiny. Um, so this stuff is really weird. It's an instant and long-term lip plumper. It says long-term, because basically they say if you use this like every day for like a few weeks, it makes your lips naturally bigger. It doesn't, don't believe that, it's rubbish. But the actual product itself is really, really good for instant um, improvement. So basically you put this stuff on and then it's like a lip gloss, but two minutes later, your lips will start tingling a little bit. You'll feel this weird sort of tingling sensation like you're having an allergic reaction, uh, which doesn't sound good, but promise me it is, um, I promise you. So after a few minutes, um, my lips will start to swell up a little bit and it's basically like having lip fillers but without spending lots of money and having things pumped into you, uh, which is also fine if that's what you do. I have friends who get them, but I'm terrified of that. I'm terrified of messing with my face. <laughs> like I don't want, I'm already a four out of 10. I don't want to go to a three. So um, I, I don't think I could ever do lip uh, fillers if I'm honest but that ladies and gentlemen is the finished look there is me serving you a good four perhaps a five I feel pretty pleased with myself and um that's it thank you so much for joining me feel free to critique the way that I do my makeup I don't really give a shit I like it I think it suits me quite well and uh thank you so much for watching this absolute shambles of a video take care and I will see you guys very soon